Father Vincent Seneschal is a missionary priest in Cambodia. Father Vincent arrived in Cambodia in 2007. He studied the Khmer language in the rural province of Kampung Tong for two years, and then became the associate pastor of the parish in the north of Phnom Penh, where MEP Father Bruno Cosma was pastor. In 2014, Father Vincent was appointed parish priest of the pastoral area of southern Phnom Penh. This huge pastoral center is formed at present of three quite different parish communities. Father Vincent works together with a new Cambodian priest, Father Sokna, religious and lay missionaries too. This uh, southern part of Phnom Penh, our capital city, there are two Vietnamese communities. These uh, Vietnamese communities are very, very faithful. The church tries really its best to have the children and the youth go to school. It's part of the integration in the whole society. The first one is the St. Mary Church in the village of Tu Tang. The church has a kindergarten and also a diocesan school to have the children learn Khmer language before entering the government school. And now we are building a pastoral center in which we will receive some youth uh, who are studying at the beginning of high school. And the second one is the Sacred Heart Church in the village of Kanori. We have also a diocesan school. We teach Khmer language to the children. And Father Sokna, who is a local priest, has led so many new children and youth to go to the government school. Almost 100 of them last year. And this is a real new effort in this place to have children and youth access to school. But the heart of the pastoral life is in the district of Bontumbun at the Church of the Child Jesus. Though the community of the faithful is not very large, it finds its dynamism and vitality in the student center and the many religious communities in the parish, including the Sisters of Providence, the Sisters of Charity, the La Salle Brothers, and the Marinol Sisters. This diversity is unified in the daily Eucharist. In 2014, we had the 20th anniversary of our parish. Uh, and this church, in which I am now seated, uh, has been built in 2008. But since then, the parish is growing and growing. And we had more and more groups, almost 40 groups in this parish. And uh, now we are building more and more, especially this year we are building a Baptist tree to have a uh, baptism for the 20 catechumens who will be baptized during next Easter. We are building a bell tower. And we invite all the parishioners to be signs of Christ's love for this society in Cambodia. There are many poor in Cambodia, and the parish try to answer these needs, the needs of the poor, to help them to be people who can work and manage their own lives. We have the charity group, we have the St. Vincent de Paul group, we have the San Egidio group, we have uh, the youth group and the uh, Beidong Savea, it's a heart of disciple group created by young people themselves. And we try to be a sign of Christ's love for all. That's uh, our testimony to this uh, part of South Phnom Penh. And so, as at Tutang and Conoria, special attention is paid to education. A nursery in the very poor village, Kabal Tomno, supports children from an early age. They then join the other children of the Bongtumbun district at the nursery school of St. Lucy. It hosts a hundred children every day. In addition, in the evening, 50 girls and boys participate in a school of dance and traditional music, which promotes dialogue between the church and Khmer culture. Then, other centers accompany the youth to adulthood. 
The Light of Mercy Center, managed by the Sisters of Providence, welcomes young, physically disabled, deaf, blind girls. Together, forming a small community like the Action Cambodia Handicapped Home. In parallel with the Center for Girls of the Sisters of Providence, the St. Francis Center hosts 20 boys, students or university. It is a demanding task to help them grow intellectually, humanly, spiritually. Father Vincent hopes in the coming months or coming years to build a new home to provide them with better living environment. Finally, the vocational St. Michael House enables young men to deepen their understanding of the priestly vocation through a life of prayer and service while continuing their studies. The parish is full of activities and projects, but the work of Father Vincent does not stop there. Besides his parochial charge, Father Vincent is chaplain of the students in Phnom Penh. Thus, beyond the many young people of the parish, Father Vincent is expected to reach all the students in the city. It's really a challenge that it's really needed to take care of the students. Many young people, they know the church through the countryside communities. So they have known Jesus, the church there in the countryside, but when they move to the city, some of them get lost. There are many temptations in the city. And for those who are in centers, from the parishes, from the diocese, they're still in contact with the church and with Christ. But many others get lost, and Bishop asked me to gather them. So we have started activities for them. Two years ago, we started already. And now we have created this year a new activity, biblical activity for them every month. The name of this activity is The Word is Alive. And we gather them to have biblical theater, to uh, have a, a study of biblical text, and also dances of Israel. Father Vincent also transmits his taste for scripture in the Bible societies of Cambodia and as a teacher of biblical history at the St. John Marie Vianney Seminary, the major seminary of Cambodia. It's a real joy for me to teach Bible in Cambodia, especially for the seminarians, but also for lay people in the St. Justine School of Faith. And uh, I have really the feeling to be part of this old missionaries who gave their life for Cambodia. A month ago, Monsignor Emile de Ton, former Bishop of Phnom Penh, passed away. For me, he was really an inspiring uh, man. And I try my best to be part of this history of the mission in Cambodia with all the people here and all who are uh, been uh, examples for me.